Sustainable cities, also referred to as eco-cities, work towards creating environmentally, economically, and socially resilient surroundings for their citizens without compromising the needs of the future generation to thrive in the same environment. But can our busy urban centers really go green? From zero waste restaurants to eco-friendly architecture, here's how five cities are leading the way. Number five, San Francisco, California. San Francisco is considered the most sustainable city in the U.S. and the fifth in the world. San Francisco's sustainable practices are evident through the Bay Area City, which is the first in the U.S. to ban the sale of plastic bags and plastic water bottles. 80% of the waste is being recycled, composted, or reused. San Francisco is the second most walkable city in the U.S. San Francisco also maximizes fair trade and organic food purchases from local farms. To protect the city's popular outdoor parks and trails, more than half of its buses and light rails are zero emission. Stockholm was designated European Green Capital by the EU Commission. The city aims to go fossil fuel free by 2040 and already 83% of its hotels are eco certified and its airport is entirely carbon neutral. Stockholm is today home to one of the world's most famous eco neighborhoods. It was developed to support environmental friendly housing and a greener lifestyle for residents from solar panels, car sharing, and composting to minimal noise pollution and more green spaces. Number three, Singapore. Home to more than 5.6 million people, the tiny island of Singapore is one of the world's most densely populated countries. While the rest of Asia deals with some of the highest pollution levels on earth, Singapore is a pioneer of smart and sustainable solutions. Since declaring its independence in 1965, the city-state has transformed into an urban oasis with about 47% green cover. In fact, more than 80% of Singaporeans are within a 10-minute walk of a park. Famed attractions such as Garden by the Bay, Jewel Changi, and Marina One have been designed with sustainability in mind. And by 2030, 80% of the city's architecture will be eco-friendly. Today, up to 40% of the Lion City water demand is met by new water, a process of purifying treated used water using advanced membrane technologies and UV disinfection. Singapore's Public Utilities Board plans for new water and desalinated water to meet up to 85% of Singapore's water demand by 2060. Number two, Copenhagen, Denmark. Copenhagen, aims to be the world's first carbon neutral capital by 2025 and is making good progress. Less than 2% of city's waste goes to landfill. The rest is recycled or converted into energy at Copenhill Amateur Resource Center. The city's new waste to energy power plant, which doubles as an artificial ski slope. Getting around Copenhagen has never been greener with solar powered boats and electric buses, bolstering a network of well-established cycle routes and pedestrian family friendly streets.
swim in the harbor's clean waters by Islands Bridgie Havenbeck. Number one, Oslo, Norway. Oslo has made tackling climate change a high priority. The city aims to cut emissions completely carbon neutral by 2050. As the electric vehicle capital of the world, 30% of all vehicles sold in Oslo are now electric and the government has introduced car-free zones to enable more room for bikes and greenery with the end goal to become a car-free city. In 2016, the city introduced a climate budget consisting of 42 separate measures across three sectors, energy and built environment, transport and resources. Carbon dioxide emissions are now being counted in the same way a financial budget would account for funding. Oslo offers great outdoors, smart city planning, plentiful public parks, and well-maintained urban forests complement the region's natural attractions. Thank you.